Space Flight Simulator is a great game where we can build our own rocket or recreate real-life rockets. SpaceX SFS is recreating all SpaceX vehicles and launches, so we have to apply their reusable mechanism too, as in real life does. So, in this episode, we will explain about the reusable mechanism, but before we start, we need to understand the reusable meaning first. Reusable is something that can be used more than once. Remember the key more than once. Expendable rockets are only able to be used once because they thrown away the rocket after the mission is finished, while SpaceX are using their first stage or booster after the mission is finished, so that is why they need to land the booster back on Earth. Something that SpaceFlex Simulator player does is, whenever they land the booster safely on Earth, they thought that was reusable. Honestly, it's dumb. We can call it reusable if the booster is able to be flown on the next mission after landing. Not just land the booster, then wow, that reusable. While the rocket cannot review, reassemble, or even fly on the next mission. After we understand the reusable meaning, now we have the basic knowledge to apply this into Space Flight Simulator. So here we are. This mechanism is pretty close as SpaceX does in real life, only maybe you have a little difference due of SpaceFlight Simulator game's limit or basic. This booster is currently used in inspiration for mission video, so after the booster landed, activate no fuel, no damage sandbox mode in the setting. Instead of bringing back the booster using drone ship, just activate the sandbox mode and return the launch site. Other than this is the faster way to save time, sandbox mode only requires for reassemble, refuel activities before the next mission start. When the actual mission is begin, we can use the sandbox mode. After the booster landed back to the launch site, connect the, connect the booster into the strong back docking port and then refuel the booster to make them able to refuel on the next mission. Now the booster is ready to refuel. What you need to do now, just build a new second stage and your mission payload. I'm gonna launch Starlink payload for the next Starlink mission. Now activate all the sandbox mode to make the reassembled process faster. Attach the second stage into the inter stage. Set all staging. And now you are ready to begin the next mission using the same booster. After the booster leaves the top, spare it and land back on Earth, just build a new second stage. This is what we call reusable, just like what it does, reuse the same booster again and again. Like this animation, lift up, separated, landed, return, refill, and reassemble. Then reflown, separated, landed, return, refill, and reassemble. As long the booster hasn't been damaged. So remember, never claim your rocket is reusable on Discord or wherever the place you are talking to. If your rocket cannot reassemble or even refuel to begin the next mission using the same booster, this not reassemble but landable, right? And we come to the end of the video. Now I have you understand this basic knowledge. With this episode of using the same booster, you can create your own reusable mechanism, such as only reuse the engine or reuse the fairing or maybe making a unique purely reusable mechanism. So all you need to do is keep explore all the possibilities in Space Flight Simulator. There's so many undiscovered thing that maybe I don't know yet. So let's let's just let our creativity found them and bring us a new gameplay with making our experiment more fun and playing Space Flight Simulator. If you have your own Unix reusable mechanism, comment below. Let me see and show it to other player or even I'll make a video about that if it is an interesting mechanism. Alright, we reached the end of the video. Keep discovering the impossible to the possible and goodbye.